Hey guys! So I know I'm a little late making this video because I totally beat Ocarina of Time like days ago, but I've just been really busy. I know that's my excuse with like everything, but I promise I really was busy. So I beat Ocarina of Time fully. Um, the only thing I'm missing pretty much is one bottle and all hundred sculptulas. Um, I pretty much kind of messed up on the bottle one. I already killed one of the pose and I forgot to capture it in a bottle so I'm pretty sure that's messed up and for the scotula I forgot to um, put a bug in one of the patches of dirt and so I messed that one up so I pretty much stopped at like 53 or 54 I think um, so I got the heart piece out of it and everything but I just didn't get all 100 which sucks I mean it would help if you were allowed to reuse your bugs once you put them on the patch of dirt but of course not, uh, they fixed that, so thanks a lot. You made it a lot harder to get the Sculptulas. Also, that ending song was really cool. Um, if you haven't beaten the game yet, you need to just to hear the ending song. It's pretty cool. Um, it's in the second credits, I think. There's one movie credits, and then the other one just has credits with little pictures on the side. Really cool. Um, but the song they chose was awesome. I was kind of like, why does this sound familiar? I'm like, oh my god, it's this song. It's really cool. So check that out definitely. In that movie, in the end, um, watching it in 3D was really sweet. Um, for as many times as I've played it, um, I did want to just shed a little tear there. It was just, it was really beautiful seeing that in 3D. It felt like you were really there watching with everyone. Alright, now I'm going to show you everything in my game. Um, I have an almost completed game. The only thing I'm missing, like I said before, is one bottle and all 100 sculptures. Alright, I hope that you can see this, and this is my pretty much completed game, and you know, I have all 20 hearts and everything. Let's go to my gear first. Um, as you can see, everything is pretty much complete except for the sculptulas here. But I have, you know, the largest quiver and everything, the largest bomb bag, stuff like that, golden gauntlets, you know, golden scale, everything. Big round sword, I do have that, I always get that, it seems. Um, sorry if I'm, like, challenged here. No, um, but I do have pretty much everything here, um, you know, the Deku Nuts, you know, everything here is maxed out pretty much, which is really cool, so, you know, even this, the biggest of everything pretty much I have. And for people that don't believe that I actually beat the game, um, I did because you can choose the Master Quest. So that just kind of proved that, you know, I beat the game, um, I haven't gotten too much into Master Quest because, um... It was pretty much right after I beat the game. I literally went from the Fire Temple all the way until the end of the game while completing all the full things, like all the big quivers and the bomb bags and everything, so I kind of just wanted to stop <laughs> for there, but um, Master Quest is still as annoying as ever. Um, I never really was that big of a fan of it, but you know, I, I have beaten it once on the GameCube, and it's one of those games where you beat it once and you kind of put it down for a while. Um, it's just, it's a lot different. It just doesn't feel very natural playing it to me at least. So, um, I still love it obviously, but I much rather prefer Ocarina of Time, just the original. Okay, so I just want to make this quick video updating you on my Ocarina of Time status and um, let me know if you beat the game. I'm sure pretty much a huge percentage of you guys have already beaten it and um, let me know what you thought of it and anything that I missed, which I'm sure I did. Usually I do. So let me know, and I will definitely see you guys later. Okay? Bye.